So today we're going to touch on our latest uh, addition to the stealth range of kayaks. Um, this is our new roach molded kayak. This is the baby of the fleet. Um, the idea and the concept behind this Fusion 350 was something that was a little bit more suitable to, for freshwater fishing, number one. Number two, for the kids that are entering into the kayak fishing market, something that's a little bit more manageable for them, something that, you know, with the leg length and everything that'll fit for them, but with very basic features. And then equally for the ladies as well, you know, much more manageable, gives you the basics, allows you to join in if you want to join in, and has some great features. So, the Fusion 350 is basically 3.5 meters long, 0.75 meters wide, okay, so the same width as our Fusion 480, but shorter. So what you get is obviously the same width, but a much more chunkier sort of looking kayak so we call it we've been calling him stumpy so he's quite short quite wide but that gives you your maximum stability all right which is what you want out of a craft like this because it, it is an entry level craft so you need the, as much stability as you can so really wide for stability and short but still give it the traditional looking you know stealth pointed nose features and obviously you want it to paddle really nicely so we've given it as, as much of a sleek design around the width that we can so the width does limit us to how, how, we can, how much we can narrow it up. But yeah, we narrowed it up, gave it a little bit of a wider area at the tail. So we kept the tail a little bit wider instead of narrowing it up too quickly. For two reasons, first of all, it gives you a little bit more volume in the tail. Second of all, with it being short and the extra volume, if a person's up to, sort of up to 90 kilograms, you can paddle it. So if you get sort of my sort of weight, you can still paddle this craft comfortably. It's not going to limit to someone up to 60 kilos. Your 90 kilo person will fit in here, will be able to paddle in here. So that's why we, we kept the volume in the tail as well. So to run through the basic features of this, as we said, this is our entry level kayak in our range. So it has a lot of the features of the other kayaks, but we've also we've cut back on certain features. So your standard carry handles, this is standard across the range. Front and back molded carry handle, that's come standard on the Fusion 350. One bung. Like in the 480, which drains the whole kayak. Okay, so we've got one bung draining the kayak. Then we have your paddle elastic. So when you're fishing or you're catching or whatever you're doing while you're fishing or paddling, you can put your paddle underneath you. So this does stop the front of the paddle from drifting, from moving away, so it's your paddle elastic. What you don't have is a, is a protective pad on here. You, you can order it and put it on afterwards, but it's not supplied with it. So once again, trying to keep the features to the basics so we can keep the price point down. Then we move across to your fish hatch. Okay, being a smaller kayak, you'll notice it's a much smaller hatch entrance. Okay, so it's a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, but the whole of the kayak is the hatch. So you have loads of storage space in such a small kayak. So from here all the way forward, you'll notice the whole of the hull of the kayak is, is storage space. So the, although the entrance is a little bit smaller, trust me, you can still get some big quality fish in here. It's just in comparison to the bigger the kayaks, it had to be made narrower. So this is your, your fish hatch with a the, with the hatch. Also notice, standard sp splash strip on the front, that stayed. Only one hatch strap. So instead of having two like we do in the traditional kayaks, we only have a single, it's supplied with a single hatch strap. Like as mentioned with the, the vinyl, if you wanted to put another hatch strap on, you could get one fitted, but we don't think it's necessary for this kayak, it's just a simple, hatch strap system. Okay, around the hatch strap, an adjustable pedal, adjustable foot peg system. So this is what your feet will rest onto. This little plate can be adjusted in all these positions along the foot wells here. Okay, this allows, you know, if you start off at the first short thing here, some small kids, probably from eight years old, will be able to reach the foot pegs. Okay, and they'll be able to enjoy the kayak and paddle. Then as the guys get taller, you'll move it forward depending on how tall it is, up to someone of about six foot. With someone of six foot, basically you would take these out completely and they rest their feet right on the front of the footwell. So that measurement from maximum leg length gives you about a six foot person. Otherwise, you would use this in different positions to suit the person's height. And that just clips in exactly the same way and folds down like it does on our adjustable pedal system. It just means if you want to fit a rudder onto this at some stage, what you would do is you would take 
the base plate out and clip the pedal system in. Okay, it does run a video that we would have to do later about how to run the cables and to fit the rudder and everything. But the same rail system allows you to put a pedal system in if you want to. But the kayak is supplied with just a foot peg system. Being short as well, I honestly don't believe you need a rudder on this kayak. You can turn it just by paddling and leaning and moving your paddle very, very easily. So a rudder would be, I mean, it's great to have a rudder, but it's not something you necessarily need on this kayak. Okay, so that's your pedal, well, I should say your foot peg and, and position to adjust the person's height. Okay, then we have the typical soft side hand carry handle so you can carry it, all right? On that note, I think I didn't mention earlier on, that the, on, the, on the specs that the weight of this kayak, like this, as you see it, is 25 kilograms, okay? So 25 kgs, which is fairly manageable, nice and easy to pick up and carry. So it's, not, it's a nice light kayak. The, the manufacturing process is, once again, the same as the 480, has the foam and the sealing of the hatch, so it's built-in flotation as well. So no, no need to add flotation. It won't sink if it happens to fill up with water somehow. Then in the center here, like in our other kayaks, is a small, well, it's, it's fairly decent size, but I mean, it's smaller than the 480, live well, again. So it has the live well in the center of the seat between your legs. The difference between this and the 480 is you'll see the holes are round holes and there's no scupper in it. So there's no scuppers to do the whole drainage system and everything and the inlet and outlet flow like we do on a 480. We've just kept it simple. It allows water to go in there and if you want to you can keep some, some bait alive in it. It does get flow but the natural flow doesn't go like you have with scuppers. However, the water from moving comes in and out and you generally have enough fresh water in there to keep a couple of baits in love. You know, for kids and for people doing that kind of fishing, more than enough. But also, these round holes allow us to, uh, to fit a standard round bung, expanding drain plug that you can put into these holes, which would seal this off and turn this into an extra storage hatch. So, for the basic fisherman who's really not into live bait fishing and, and maybe the freshwater guys who don't want to use it as as a live well, you put the bung expanding drain plugs into the holes and that will seal the, the, the hatch from water coming in and out and you'll have an extra dry hatch or storage area. So that's a second reason why we didn't put the scuppers and everything in there, was the ability to be able to seal it off really well. Okay, then we move to typical seat scuppers like the 480 as well as the footwell scuppers like in the 480. Here we go to just two rod holders and a place to clip on your rods. So. Two rod holders only, simple. Then your back dry hatch, okay? So your back dry hatch is not like the 480 where it's big and you've got this whole hood that fits on. This is just a bag, okay? So this bag is your dry hatch area with a screw on lid. So it allows you to keep some stuff in there, but it's not big and everything like on the 480. It's just a simple bag system once again. Another part of keeping the price point down by not too much work on the kayak to keep it simple. Then we move to the recess with some elastic. Naturally here you'd put something extra to store if you want to but it's just an extra storage area and then like we touched on before the molded handle here. Yeah and that's basically the Fusion 350. One of the features you'll see here on the sides has brass inserts which doesn't have anything in it. This has allowed you to put a thigh strap on it. So for those people who want to play on the surf and things like that and don't use foot straps, these are your attachment points for a thigh strap, which we can run through on a video at a later stage and show you how the thigh straps work in the surf. But this is your attachment points for your thigh strap. The 480 has the same attachment points. We often get asked about what they're for, but yeah, that's a thigh strap attachment point. And that basically is your, your Fusion 350, our little baby kayak, which has been added to our range.